Ever since her career first got started in the late 80s, Sandra Bullock has been able to walk that line of not only being a bankable movie star, but also a highly acclaimed actress too. That said, given how much charisma and natural skill she has, this really shouldn't come as no surprise to anyone. But with so many great movies in her filmography, it could be hard to decide which ones are the best. Luckily for you then, we've come up with a list of what we feel are the absolute greatest, those which show just how talented she is. In this list, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 Sandra Bullock movies of all time. No, I fired you because you're lazy, entitled, incompetent, and you spend more time cheating on your wife than you do in your office. Number 10, Bird Box. You never, ever take off your blindfold. If you look, you will die. Do you understand? With the constant sea of movies being released straight to streaming services these days, it can be hard for anything to stand out amongst the crowd. And that's what made 2018's horror flick, Bird Box, so impressive then because it was able to do just this. How did it manage such an achievement? Well, by having a great premise which saw Bullock's character, Mallory Hayes, have to join the rest of the world in keeping her eyes shut. After all, if she didn't, she might accidentally look upon an unseen menace which is driving people to suicide. But as it happens, this self-imposed blindness would have its downsides on set because, while blindfolded during shooting, Bullock would accidentally run into a camera on multiple occasions. Take your goddamn blindfold off! <laughs> Number 9. While You Were Sleeping Do you want me to help you? No? No! <laughs> In the mid-90s, Sandra Bullock was most commonly known for her roles in big-budget action thrillers or romantic comedies, and when it came to the latter genre, perhaps none were a bigger success for her than 1995's While You Were Sleeping. But given how great her on-screen chemistry was with her co-star, Bill Pullman here, it's easy to see why this was the case. And it's also helped by the charming plot, which sees her character, Lucy Eleanor Moderatz, rescue a comatose man from a train track, then accidentally lead the doctors in hospital to believe she's his fiance. That said, Bullock almost didn't get a chance to shine in this role at all because, in the years since, it's come out that the producer's first choice was none other than Demi Moore. Thankfully though, she would never actually sign on to the film, leaving the door open for someone else to step in. She's his fiance. His fiance? Say what? I'm not his fiance. I'm not engaged. I've never even spoken to the what? guy. Number eight, The Proposal. It's gonna be okay. It's not like we're, we're gonna be married forever be happily divorced before you know it. It'll be fine. Carrying on her streak of winning romantic comedies, 2009's The Proposal sees Sandra Bullock play the role of Margaret Tate, a Canadian book publisher who finds herself facing deportation from the US once her visa runs out. So in order to stop herself being sent back home then, she convinces her American assistant, Andrew Paxton, here played by Ryan Reynolds, to act as her fiancé. Needless to say, however, as things go on, sparks begin to fly between the two and they end up falling in love with one another. And as it happened, the on-screen chemistry between the two here would lead to a real-life romance developing as, only two years later, Bullock and Reynolds would begin dating off-screen as well. If you touch my ass one more time, I will cut your balls off in your sleep, okay? Yeah, there you go. All right, then. Number 7. The Lake House He has wonderful penmanship. Mother? Look at the date on the letter. The date. Just a detail. Just a detail? By 2006, Sandra Bullock was an old pro when it came to starring in romantic films. So perhaps this is why she decided to freshen things up a little when, that summer, she starred alongside Keanu Reeves in The Lake House. But what made this one different from any other romantic film she'd appeared in before? Well, for one, it has a more science fiction twist, as while the two are living in the same house, they're separated by a period of two years, leaving them to communicate through a mailbox, which carries their letters to one another through time. And as it happens, this movie would also feature an Easter egg nodding towards Bullock and Reeves' first team up over a decade prior, as her character's dog here is called Jack, the same name her co-star had in 1994's Speed. Number 6. The Unforgivable Drag your bitch ass out next time. In recent years, Sandra Bullock has largely returned to doing more dramatic roles, roles which have allowed her to fully show how good of an actor she can be when given something to sink her teeth into. And perhaps no role in recent memory has given her more to work with than 2021's The Unforgivable. 
But that's because, with her playing the role of Ruth Slater, a convicted murderer who gets released from prison and then attempts to reunite with her estranged sister, there's so much going on underneath the surface of her performance. And because of that, then, it really takes multiple viewings to fully appreciate what she's doing. That said, this role almost went to Angelina Jolie instead, all before she had to drop out, of course. Luckily for Bullock, though, once she was brought in as a replacement, she would not only get to play the role, but she'd be able to get financially involved, too, as she helped to produce the film. Number 5. Speed how you doing? Strip the shit out of me, Jack! Ow! Other than that, I'm fine. What is that smell? It's gas. Few action movies were able to define the mid-90s in quite the same way as 1994's classic, Speed. And the reason for this is because the concept is so great. Just take a bus that can't go below 50 miles per hour or it will explode and let it loose on the streets of LA. Of course, it's not just that which makes this movie great. No, it's also the engaging performances and excellent chemistry between the two leads, Keanu Reeves, Officer Jack Traven, and Sandra Bullock's Annie Porter. But despite being the driver of the bus for most of the movie, this was not a skill Bullock had prior to filming. So, in order to prepare for her character then, she'd undergo a crash course in bus driving where she passed on her first attempt. Watch it! Number 4. A Time to Kill you know what? I can't get to this. Why don't you just take off your pants? Come on, though. I don't look that easy. Oh, are you afraid I'm gonna see in your underwear? John Grisham is well known for his tense legal thrillers, so whenever they get adapted to screen, it's always an event for his fans. And needless to say then, 1996's A Time to Kill was no exception to this rule. Doubly so here, in fact, because this one featured an all-star cast, which included Sandra Bullock, Matthew McConaughey, and Samuel L. Jackson. But what's the story of this one? Well, after the man who raped his daughter looks set to get off with the crime, Jackson's Carl Lee Haley decides to take matters into his own hands. Of course, his actions lead to him then facing the death penalty himself, so he must find a crack defense team which includes Bullock's Ellen Rourke. Ironically though, despite her character being a young law student learning from the more established Jake Briggins, here played by McConaughey, Bullock was actually five years older than her co-star at the time of filming. I'm gonna leave you tied up here naked. Carly Haley. Should have shot you too. <laughs> Number three, the blind side. No, you hear me, bitch. You threaten my son, you threaten me. You so much as cross into downtown, you will be sorry. If there was a single role which crystallized all the hard work Sandra Bullock had put in over the decades so as to establish herself as a top tier actress, it would be her turn as Leanne Tui in 2009's The Blind Side. Why is that? Well, for one, it allows her to show all her range as a woman who sees something special in an impoverished young black child and wants to help him succeed. So, when she discovers he has a natural talent for football then, she's there every step of the way to make sure he keeps his grades up enough to where he can go on to college. And as a result of her stellar performance here, the Academy would finally recognize Bullock in 2010 when they awarded her the Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role. Hey, crotch mouth. Yeah, you. Zip it, or I'll come up there and zip it for you. Number two, Crash. I just had a gun pointed in my face. You lower your voice. And it was my fault because I knew it was going to happen. By 2004, Hollywood was finally ready for a mainstream movie which dealt with themes of race inequality and social tensions in America. So, when Paul Haggis decided to make Crash, a movie which explores these issues from a number of different perspectives, it became a major hit during awards season. Of course, for all the different stories this one tells, perhaps the most engaging is that of Rick and Gene Cabot, a politician and his wife, played by Brendan Fraser and Sandra Bullock, who get carjacked by two young black men while driving home. But while this leads to a lot of uncomfortable yet necessary conversations being had, Bullock was all in on the script. In fact, so much did she love it, she'd even pay for her own plane ticket to fly to the set with. Our number one pick is Gravity. Come on, Matt, talk to me. Tell me where you are, give me your position. Where are you? Give me a visual, just tell me what you see. If you're looking to answer the question of what the best Sandra Bullock movie of all time is, then you can't really go wrong with 2013's sci-fi hit, Gravity. And that's because not only is this one a technical marvel in terms of its visuals, but it also gives Bullock the chance to shine in what ends up pretty much being a one-woman show. 
Yes, after an accident during a spacewalk leaves her character, Dr. Ryan Stone, stranded in the void with no one around to help, she must find a way back home to Earth quickly. And this all leads to some very tense scenes then, as we stay with her each and every step of the way. That said, this role would be very taxing on Bullock physically, because the numerous lengthy single takes director Alfonso Cuaron liked to use meant her performance ended up being very similar to a dance. And as a result of this, she would have to memorize long combinations of precise movements so as to hit her marks each time. Looking at the film's ratings, we find that Gravity received a pretty solid 7.7 .7 out of 10 on IMDb.com and an excellent 96 from Metacritic. As for Rotten Tomatoes, they'd give it an equally as strong 96% on the tomato meter and 79% given by the audience. I don't know. No, my name is not Mayday. I'm Stone. Dr. Ryan Stone, I need help. And there we have it, the top 10 Sandra Bullock movies of all time. No doubt you have your own list, so be sure to let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get alerted of our next video. We'll hope to see you soon!